guy. I wonder if least, that ring was in there for five years. I don't know. At least it's better than the alternative. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> Thanks, John, for taking right. that a whole well, new level. Well, I'm glad I could help out. All right, here's a look at Red River, where we have a few clouds streaming through the sky and a very nice afternoon on the way through uh, the northern mountains, one of the cooler places to be as we are dealing with the heat across the entire state of New Mexico right now. 98 degrees currently at the Sunport. South-southwest wind at 9 miles per hour, gusting up to 21. Across the entire state, we are dealing with the heat, with the exception of a few of the higher elevation locations. Ruidoso only at 86 degrees right now. Alamosa, 71. That is where you want to be this afternoon. But across the rest of the state, we are dealing with triple-digit heat across the east, down to the south as well. 102 in Alamogordo, 101 in Deming. Carlsbad up to 108 degrees this afternoon. It is an extremely hot afternoon across the southeastern portion of the state. We are trying to get a few showers going across the east, and that is trying to bring a little relief to some of the heat across the east. But a lot of this not reaching the ground. In fact, a lot of these storms not producing rainfall, but are producing some gusty winds. We're getting trying to get a little bit of that rainfall going across the Colorado, New Mexico state line, across the far northern portion of the state. But we are starting to see a little bit of a change in our pattern. We are getting a few of those storms across the state, and we are going to start to see that shower and storm chance increase throughout the upcoming work week. Right now we have a cold front that's sitting across southern Colorado. That's eventually going to pass through the state during the night tonight and into tomorrow, and it's going to bring a good dose of moisture, especially across the eastern and central portions of the state through the next 24 hours or so. It's also going to help bring some relief to this heat. We are going to see temperatures drop as much as 10 to 15 degrees across the east. We'll even see about a 5 to 10 degree drop across central sections. And then after that front washes out, we get into a southerly flow across the western portion the state. So it looks like no matter where you are in the state, you will have a shot at getting some showers and storms throughout the upcoming week before things do start to settle down into the weekend. But then we start to see the moisture return once again for next week. Right now, super storm track showing that we'll have that chance at getting a few of those showers going tomorrow. But really, we'll see the chances increase quite a bit during the uh, daytime hours on Wednesday to get a little bit better coverage across the northern mountains and across the east as well. And then once again across the west, we'll be watching for your shot toward Thursday and Friday. Southern Colorado, temperatures tomorrow into the upper 80s to low 90s. Better chances at showers and storms toward the middle and latter part of the week as temperatures drop back to the mid 80s. Over the northwest, still hot for tomorrow, but we will see at least a chance that maybe a couple of storms Thursday into Friday before drying out once again over the weekend. Over the southwest, still very hot here with triple digit heat from TRC down to dimming once again tomorrow afternoon, but temperatures do drop a little bit for Wednesday with better chances at showers and storms Wednesday and Thursday and will continue to spot storm chances into the weekend. Over the southeast, scattered storms with winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour will continue with those storm chances and temperatures continuing to drop to the upper 80s for Wednesday. Over the northeast, scattered storms here as well. A good possibility through tomorrow, Wednesday, and at least into Thursday. Temperatures dropping back to the mid 70s for Las Vegas over the next couple of days. Over the northern mountains, spot storms possible for tomorrow. Better storm chances through Wednesday, Thursday, and into early Friday in the East Mountains. Spot storms for tomorrow highs into the mid to upper 80s in the metro. We'll have a chance at a spot storm tomorrow, but the bigger story will be the gusty winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour. Temperatures do drop. We're back into the mid 80s with better storm chances for Wednesday. Okay, thank you, John. We'll